all who are gay. And when she died, a bunch of drag queens decided that they would do a memorial to her. They would all get dressed up like Judy Garland, and they would go to the Stonewall Inn and have a memorial service for Judy Garland, 1969. Now, police raided gay bars all the time in the 60s, but the night that Judy Garland died was the wrong night to get these drag queens upset. So the drag queens are having their memorial, and the police raised the bar. You have to understand, they raided the bar on the night that Judy Garland died. You don't do that. The drag queens were angry. And they teased the cops. They said, come on in, boys. Come on in. Come on in. And the cops came in, and the drag queens ran out the back door, locked the door, ran to the front, locked the front. Now the police are locked inside the bar. <laughs> Pretty embarrassing. The police outsmarted by a bunch of drag queens. The next day, there was a relatively small march to protest that raid. And ever since then, every June, last Sunday in June, the Gay Pride Day takes place and ends right around here. Uh, are by a guy named George Siegel, not the actor, but the artist. And I met George Siegel's work when I was a kid. I was about 12 years old, and uh, our teacher took us to the Museum of Modern Art, and I learned what art was that day. In the Museum of Modern Art, there is a bus driver, a sculpture of a bus driver, white, like this, sitting in the front cab of a real bus. And my teacher said, what do you see? And we said, a bus driver. And she said, yeah. How did you come to school today? And we said, my bus. And she said, what color shirt was the bus driver wearing? Nobody knew. What color was his hair? Was he bald? Was it a sheep? And nobody remembered. What Eric Siegel did, I'm sorry, what George Siegel did, was take things that ordinarily you don't see at all and put, in, put them right in front of you. And that's really what art is. It takes things we take for granted puts it in a frame and lets us see it in a perspective we never had before. Or, or he does the opposite. He takes things that you see right away because people point it out to you. Hey, faggot, hey, homo, hey, sissy. People who are constantly being pointed at and made fun of and try to hide. 1950s and 60s, gay men and women had to hide. So here, George Siegel did something else. He put those gay men and women in poses of nonchalant, calm, not afraid, open. You don't have to point to me. I'm right here, and I'm not afraid, and I'm relaxed. I'm sitting here on the bench. I'm standing here with my friend. You hardly even notice me. I'm just like every other person. I like George Seaman. Thanks, guys.